Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? We're continuing our harvest with our fleet of crazy 88s and I've just, what I've done is I've started up the hired help on this one and the one the other side of this circle. Uh, I'll just show you here, we don't want that one, oh no, 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 we don't want that either, we want that one there. So we're going around in this circle, I've started these two up and I've also got that one there to measure the field. So we've got three of them have now measured the field and done their calculation of 888 hectares. And then the rest of them we're going to get back to. I've made some slight alterations, I've actually slowed down the cutting speed of the headers so the maximum cutting speed is going to be about 30 miles an hour. I'm hoping that will mean that the standard AI will be able to use these headers and the other ones. But for now we're just going to, I'm just going to stay with these just for a little bit longer because what I want to do, it's not that one, it's this one over here. What I want to do is I want to see what happens when they cut the circle all the way out from this house out to the fence over there. How are they going to cope the fence? Um, I reckon that they will just head off up that way, so go all the way around that road. And that's kind of, it's one bit I think that we will need to possibly help them go round because of the, well, one, the distance they've got to go, but also because the crop is so close to the other side of the road, I don't want it to sort of try to get across there. And that's possibly going to be a bit of a problem, but we'll see about that. My question for this week, Broad Acres Australian 16 times map has been released. And I did a first look video the other day, well, a couple of weeks ago now actually I think, and um, a lot of people have watched the first look video and said this is absolutely amazing and you want me to move there a bit earlier. So I thought that I would put it to a vote and find out if you want me to move there early or not. Now the original plan was to stay on this map until the new Platinum DLC comes out and then spend two weeks on the new map, on the Platinum DLC map, messing around taking a look at Sugarcane. However, Ben tells me that because it's being added to the base game, the sugarcane should be available on Broadacre's map as well. And if it's not, he will make sure that it is added in fairly promptly. So we'll be able to take a look at sugarcane and stuff in Australia, in, in the 16 times map. And we'll be able to, obviously, we can look at all the DLC stuff because that will be available everywhere anyway. Um, so do you want me to move there early? We'll finish this. We, obviously, this is the last episode this week. We'll do one lot of episodes on this map next week so that we can take a look at the balers and hopefully um, do everything that we wanted to do with the straw and the baling and stuff on this map and then the following week move to Australia. So do you want me to move to Broad Acres early or do you want me to stick with my original plan of here then the Platinum DLC for two weeks and then start Broad Acres the Australian map on the 30th of November. It's your vote, it's your game, Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Now this one here should be the last swipe against that fence down there, so the other one which is over the other side of the circle should be the one that comes down to the end and then stops and turns around and goes up alongside that road all the way up there. And then obviously this one will then follow on afterwards and the rest of, well, the other combine should then sort of come on round and it will do the same. And then after that, we're going to try to set some of these, oh, no, actually, the other one is, this isn't quite reaching all the way across, so the other one's going to come down, it's probably going to get stuck against the fence, is what's probably going to happen, so we're going to have to kind of nurse that one through, let me go over here, it's got a little ways to go, so we can go and put this one going in a minute, so start that one up and just put it running. Now we've gone through that little bridge down there, so the next time the combines come through, I suspect that they will finish up that section over there. We don't, we've, we've still got a little piece up through here, but they'll basically all have a combine finish up that section in there. This one's going to go on round and do all this area that we haven't actually gone round yet. Uh, B is going to come down and get stuck on the fence in a minute. This one's done. This one here is not done. This one down here is one that I wanted to take a look at. So we're going to go over a minute and quickly take a look at this one. And what I wanted to do with this one was I figured that we've got enough space out to the sides. So I'm not going to use the AI vehicle extension for this one. I'm going to go to normal and I'm going to try that. Now this is going to combine a lot faster than we were previously doing. But 30, it was going to, it was going all the way up to like 50 miles an hour. And 
I figured that was too fast because it wasn't cutting it properly. But I'm hoping that the 30 miles an hour that I've now set them to, it will be able to cut and it, the, um, the whole program will be able to cope with it. So I'm hoping that's the case. And when it gets to the end of this row, I'm also hoping that it will successfully be able to stop and turn round and come back up again. We've done several rounds around the outside, so there's no reason that it shouldn't be able to. It should, yes, it's plenty, it's easily able to stop. That's not a problem and it will come up and do its normal turn so which way is it going to go is it going to do it properly or is it just going to get confused no it's actually going to turn okay that one's doing just fine uh let's go back to our other combines this one here now is coming up round are we going to need to help it go past these trees or not actually i don't think we will we may need to in a minute just up on the next trees but that one's doing okay this one's on his way round, and here we go with the main fence. And, oh no, it's managed to actually get through. I am amazed. <laughs> oh, you've got to love these combines, the Crazy 88s. I reckon we have named these correctly. I, I really do. <laughs> this is fantastic. Is it going to be able to turn to get back? That's the next question. Can you get off the fence? I really hope you can, because I don't want you to get stuck up there. It's kind of moving. Oh, no, it's done it. It's managed to do it. It's managed to get off the fence. It's now completely gotten confused and stuck and everything else, but it has managed to do it. Is it going to straighten up again? I really hope so. I really hope that it can do it. Okay, that one's going to carry on that way, and this one is now going to come in there. How's our... Uh, no, nope, not that one. I want this one here. Oh, he's managed to get through just fine he's oh he, he didn't actually have too much to worry about it just sort of come in around there and it's only over there near the dealership that we're going to have a bit of problems i think the rest of this is going to be just fine so it's not going to it's not going to have any problems there this one oh yeah that's that's the the one that we're just riding on the fence so that one's okay this is the one here this one's coming into the fence as soon as it gets up there that's where we're going to have a slight problem and it's only going to be this one that's going to have a problem because it's going to try to ride up on this fence now. So what I'm going to do is rather than allowing it to do that, I'm just going to press H and stop it and manually just put it round here like this. You can whip out that corner like that and then come flying back up round this way and put it into the crop on this side so this is the only one that would have any slight issue with this because the next one will come down that way and then it will just turn around the corner and carry on up the field beside where this one is traveled so we shouldn't have any problems with the second one we do just want to watch this one i think up at the other end is going to have a slight issue and we've come to the corner here we should just turn round, and i think i've got the corners set on 100% uh, turns on these so there shouldn't be too much issues with the turning either bring that up and it's only up there just on that corner next to the dealership here that he's going to have well and the second corner as well there's a couple of corners here that is going to try to cut in because that's just what the um the ai does for this one. Oh, someone did actually tell me they, they put a, a rather detailed post which was really cool um about some different settings that we can try on here so if we go control h and we go to settings um you've got turn offset you don't want that one straight reverse is the turn modes and you can have o shape turn reverse with curve straight reverse for your turn modes your active side manual steering weight during unload alternative helper oh that's the A ai thing um connected field only with i don't know what that one does there's wasn't there there was another set of it wasn't connected field show trace no i don't want show trace width offset active it wasn't headland either there was a i'm sure there was actually a, a thing ai mode circle collision check on on now collision check i think might be the one where it reads the end. oh i actually thought that i had this set to 100 percent. it should be on 100 and I don't want pause. Connected field. I don't know what connected field means. Oh. Whether that means that it can only stay inside the field, I, I don't actually know. I thought there was one that stopped it from going outside of the field. It might be the headland setting does that. I'm not sure. 
We'd keep the collision check on and we'll see if it does it okay then. And we'll put, we'll turn connected field on and see what that does. So let's just turn that off a minute and then I'm going to go forward and I'm just going to start it up and I'm going to manually get it to this point here. Then I'll press H. Oh no, it's going to run the field detection again. Because I changed those settings, it's going to change everything again. I wonder if I can stop it from reading. Yes, I can. Okay, so let's go back to here and... <laughs> I'll, te I'll turn that one off. I'll keep the connected field only off. Uh, the others we'll keep as we've done. Uh, the it's only the collision check that I've changed. Okay, let's do that. It's probably going to have to read it again now anyway. Yes, it is. So we're going to have to now uh, help a bee stopped unexpectedly unknown reason. That's probably because he's gone too far off the corner and uh, run out of space. So we're going to have to go for that one in a second and just take a look at what he's done. I've got to wait for this to read the full 885 hectares again. Right, it's read that. I just want to nurse it round the next couple of corners. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to stop it from cutting in. Because I don't think that connected field thing is anything to do with it. So it will come up there. We might actually be okay going around this corner. Because, well, so long as the side of the header doesn't dip too much as it goes around there. And, nope, no such luck. Okay, let's just turn that one off and back up there a second. <laughs> and try that again. These combines are slightly insane and yeah 30 miles an hour is top speed so if I just manually do this bit round here um, we'll then be able to deal with the rest of it we can let the AI vehicle extension cope with everything else at least that's what I'm hoping Ooh, I missed a bit there <laughs> slowing down is um, difficult with this I'm still missing bits that's okay it's it's a tiny, tiny amount. I don't think it's really going to make much difference. We've got helper D blocked by an object and the other one has stopped. I reckon he's probably stopped because he's run to the end of um, what he's able to do. He's, he's got too much space, so we don't want that one. That one's fine. This one here has tried to turn too soon. This one has simply come to the end and backed up and then got a little bit confused. So if I start him up again on here, he'll be able to just carry on up through the field up that way. At least that's what I'm hoping. There shouldn't be any issues there at all. He can carry on that way. Now this one, not that one, this one here has tried to turn too soon. And I did think it was going to do that. So there's nothing unusual. There's nothing unexpected has happened here. We do have this one very, very close to the edge of the fence anyway. Okay, let's bring that round. And as soon as I get it past this next fence, this up this side could prove interesting, actually, because there's some steeper bits further up that I don't know if the header is actually going to be able to cope with. We'll see. We'll see how that copes. I want to go. Uh, this one is... Oh, he's got another corner he's going to cut in across in a second. As soon as he's cut in across that corner, I do want to get some other combines going. What do we got down here? We've got some. We got several with big headers on, and we've got these. This one's okay. This one's doing just fine. We have got no problems with that one. So I'm going to try and do the same with this combine here, and see if that will work. So I'm just going to press H on that. Oh no 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 no. Uh, H on there. I want to go Control H, and I want to set that to the normal AI. Set that going. I'm hoping that this field here, he will just go and do the rest of it like this. Excellent. That's that's actually going to work out really well. I can do that field there. This one's going to carry on. This guy may be able to do the same. I'm not quite sure. So let's start him up and put the standard AI going. Helper B has completed their task. No, you haven't. I beg to differ, sir. I beg to differ. And if I bring you... Right, what have you got in here? I want to try and get it straight-ish. If I do it there, he will straighten himself up and go for it. <laughs> that's brilliant. Helper I is blocked by an object. we got one that's blocked by an object. This one is, well, he's, he's cutting out a new strip because he's just straightening up the edge of the field. Uh, generally speaking, though, he will get most of that field. That's not going to be a problem. This guy has gotten a little bit hung up. 
That's okay. We can just back down. He, this should be the last one that he gets hung up on, actually. Once we've done this one here, we can just get him round this corner. And then we can go and check on the other two and make sure that they are working okay. And then we can get some of the non-AI vehicle extension combines and put them going as well. We're on that side, we want this one. He's, this is travelling. Actually, he's, oh, he's done the difficult bit and he managed to get through it okay. So he's going along just fine. And he will go all the way down to the bottom end of the map now. And I don't think it's going to be any... Oh, actually, how close is this to the fence? There was a point here where we got extremely close to the fence. Except that the collision doesn't exist on the very outside edge of this um, header. So that's not going to present any problems. This one here has gone up round the corner and is... Has he gone up round the corner? No, he hasn't. He hasn't quite reached the corner yet. He's just got the, he's got the corner coming up. That's fine. This combine here... Now, the section above us there is not been done. There's nothing done in there yet. Well, we've gone round it, but it's like a separate section now. It's just nothing to do with the main field. So we don't actually need the extended AI, the, the AI vehicle extension. What we can do is we can just use the standard hired help for this particular piece. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to... I'm deliberately putting it so that it's not completely taking up a full swath this time just in case it's um, got a bit of a curve on it at the top and so it should straighten up so we go control H and we turn it to normal and then we press H and this one should go up across here at 30 miles an hour that is fantastic there is going to be huge piles of straw at the ends of these rows I'm sort of hoping that we can do this with a couple other combines as well and we can get a few of them going with the standard AI uh, now that we've sort of got a couple of outside rounds with the um, the vehicle extension and so we'll be able to get all of it going because we were struggling to get the vehicle extension running and so if we can do this it should do it we, we are not going to be able we're not going to get everything done perfectly there are go there's going to be patches like this over here that we're going to miss and I can live with that. I know that some of you have very serious um, OCD and I can appreciate that because I do know people with OCD and it is kind of a, a bit of an issue but um, I think that we can get through it. It is something I think that we can get through. Right, why are you... St oh, I see. You've just kind of basically you've run out of crop and you're not really sure which way to go. So if I bring you back over this way and start you again, you should be able to do another great big wide sweep without any problems and this combine here doesn't actually have anything to do I'm just gonna leave that one stood there this is now working very well it is leaving the odd little piece but it's not leaving very much so we are we're basically we're combining at the absolute maximum that it can I'm guessing that if it goes over just a slight rough patch there's a tiny little bit that it will miss or it just like it speeds up just a tiny little bit too much in places and it doesn't like it but generally speaking it's doing really well with combining at 30 miles an hour this is fantastic it's going to get through this field pretty quickly i'm thinking that maybe we'll set something like this going in broad acres we can sort of for one of the things that we put through on our biggest field and that one has actually gone the wrong way so if I turn it round and I go back up this side, I'm hoping then it will actually turn the correct way. It's like that. It didn't actually do very much, did it? Let's try it here. Which way is it wanting to turn? It's kind of like that, I think. Press H on it. Yes, that's the way that it wants to go. And I think it's now going to work okay. So we'll let that one carry on. And that one's working, that one's working, that one's not doing anything. This is the standard hired help. That's the, the one that got stuck on the fence just now. And then we've got uh, one that's cutting in a new line. He's gone all the way down to the bottom end of the road now. And he's just making his way back around... We're finally going to complete one circuit of the field. It has taken a ridiculous amount of time to just get one circuit of the field. We've got a second circuit sort of following along behind. 
That is absolutely fantastic. He's making his way up here. We started up there. He's still got all of that distance to go, but we've done a circuit. And quite a few places have now got a, uh, two circuits. This one up here is going really, really fast now. What I'd actually like to do is get another combine to do... We've got a second strip down here. I think that's far enough. But we don't have a second strip along here. And I'd like to get another line along there before we get... A, we get this combine here going. This is the one that's going to do it. So let's start this one up. And this one will run at 93 miles an hour when he's not actually doing anything. So we can get it down to the other end of the field pretty quickly. We can do one line along the end, which we will do manually. And then we can put this one combining across the top end of the map, which is the really long stretches up there, which I think will help us to finish harvesting at a much faster rate. And that's what I'd like to try and do. And then we could also get another one sort of combining this way here, if we can. I'd like you to tell me today if you'd like me to spend another episode or two doing the combining. I mean, we've been building up to this for a very long time. I did a little bit sort of messing around last week with the smaller fields. Now we're really getting stuck into this big field. Do you want me to try to just sort of leave it running for an hour behind the scenes um, and get most of it done so we can just play with the balers next week? Or do you want me to do another episode, maybe two episodes with combining and then finish up with the baling. Um, I'm sort of, I'm saying finish up with the baling and that just in case people vote for going to Broadacres. because I don't actually know because the first episode for Texas this week hasn't yet gone up. So I've got no idea what you guys are going to vote on this. It's all going to be a surprise to me. So let me bring this one all the way over here. Actually, where are we headed now? We want, uh, basically, I want to get straight over to the end here, and then I want to start cutting this one north, and that will put us about right, I should think. And then we've got that really, really long run all across the top of the map that we'll be able to run. And that should work out quite nicely. J is coming up there. We've got helper A over sort of in front of us a little ways ahead, and that one's doing just fine. It's not going to have any problems from us. Now, I'm going to manually start this one off here combining at 30 miles an hour <laughs> this is insane i absolutely love this combination the crazy 88 with a 90 foot header is absolutely brilliant i mean technically we could even say there's an 88 foot header just to you know if, if we really want to go for a full crazy 88 um i mean i think it is exactly 90 feet but um you know when you're looking at 90 feet, 2 feet isn't really much of a difference. It's, it's not really going to make much of an impact. It's like 2.2% 2, 2 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really not going to make much of a difference if it's um, 90 feet or 88 feet, which is absolutely brilliant. I really do love this whole combine setup that we've got going here. Now, we can just cut this piece right up to this corner, and then we're going to set this one going... The only thing is, when it gets right down to the other end, it's going to have that little area that we sort of ran into problems with, with the sugar cane. Not sugar cane, sugar beet. I've got sugar cane on the brain at the moment. Um, with the sugar beet, where it said that it was um, not a real field or something. Um, it it kind of didn't like the field, did it? So if I do this on half a swath to start with, just so that it gets it right, and I go Control h put it to the standard AI and not the... Uh, vehicle extension and press H and away we go how is this going to cope I wonder it gets very very steep in places along here and we've got a very long way it did take a long time for the sugar beet harvesters to sort of do one pass up and down here so that could take a little while we'll let that one carry on now we've got one combine down here that's not doing a great deal this one here is the standard AI working up and down, and that's actually doing a really good job now. There's some straw missing over there. I think that's because there's um, an area that's not actually been combined properly yet. But generally speaking, that's doing an absolutely fantastic job whizzing up and down here. I think it's going to do one, be able to just sort of do one pass down through here. And then it's got smaller sections. But we could this one combine will cope with this piece up here without any problems whatsoever. My frame rate, you can see, is now in the 50s because of the number of combines that we got running with the different AI sections on it. 
it's making an actual difference to the performance of the game at the moment, which is brilliant. I, I love the fact that it's actually impacting the performance of the game. Is it going to get through that tiny little shred all the way up through? I don't actually know. Let's go. This one here is... Where are we? Oh, it's done it. Oh, no, it hasn't. That's not the one. This is, this is the one that's leading the way. This is the one that's leading the way right here. And it's almost done it. It had a... Uh, it had a piece up through there that it sort of struggled with. That is the end of the field. We have done one circuit. Once we've done two circuits around the field, the standard AI will be able to do most of this without any problems whatsoever. So I'm quite happy for the standard AI to sort of take over in a minute. But for now, we can sort of let this keep running. This one is... Almost, well, it's, it's not very far behind now. Oh, actually, it's, it's a long way behind. This is a difference between them. That one is carrying on up there, doing really well. We've got one at the top of the map that we can't actually see at the moment. And we've got Helper E working down here. It's just going to whiz back and forth. That's going to take a long time to work his way through that field. And this one as well. H Helper H is, again, going to take a very long time because it's doing such short passes. But I think that's okay. We, we can sort of live with that. Uh, let's go the other way. This one is the the one on the very, very big field at the bottom with a very tiny header. We've got another one of those. We've almost reached the top of the map here. Coming around the top end of the road where we've ploughed it all under. What we haven't done yet is go around the main farm. That's the only thing left, really, that we've got to do that's kind of a, any significant difference. This is... Oh, he's now finally done it. He has reached the point where we started in this field. We have now done a complete circuit all the way round the field. All the way round. That is absolutely fantastic. All the way round the gorges as well. That is absolutely brilliant. The only field that we haven't done a complete circuit on is that one there. This one here we're not touching. That one was the one that was causing crashes down here in that section there. I don't know why, but it was. So we're not going to go back down there. We're going to leave that alone. This one has come through that corner just perfectly. That's not going to cause us any issues there. So I'm starting to think that actually we'll get that one there. If we ran that across to that side and just complete a second pass all the way around here, we could then put normal AI working north to south up through this way. This guy here is just going to pull on this side of the gorge, somewhere that we've not actually been before. Okay, we can let that one go on there on that side of the gorge. This one's coming up. It's just going to go into the steep area there. These headers, because of the fact they don't have collision on the two end pieces, they work absolutely perfectly. We've got no issues there, and we're just doing the very top end of the map with this one. Is he going to be able to recognize that there's still field over there? I think he is. I love the pile of straw that leaves behind. That is absolutely fantastic. It's, that, that is just brilliant. That is just absolutely sensational. That really is. And, oh, it's done it. It's gone all the way up. So what did it do? Ah, I see it. It has done that thing again where it's gotten to, it says a, a piece there that it doesn't recognize as field. Once it gets back up here and turns and goes back down again, it'll probably do that once more and then it will cut in across. That piece there we'd have to do manually. Now you down here I would rather take you and do something else with you I'm going to stop you right there just like that let you empty out and you have a special mission what we're going to do with this one is we're going to take it across over this way and we're going to start working north to south with standard AI because the standard AI runs faster the AI vehicle extension limits the combines to 14 miles an hour. I think it's because the actual program won't run the calculations and stuff faster than that. So 14 miles an hour is like the physical limit that it, is, it would be able to do. So rather than trying to crash a game or anything like that, the creators have limited it to the 14 miles an hour in order to stop any serious issues um, while it's trying to like calculate routes because it would be extremely difficult to calculate all the curves and everything whilst traveling along at this speed especially if you've got multiple machines running on the map so we'll just let this run well we're just going to sort of meet up with where we cut in previously which is just on this curve up through here i am now running out of time 
My time has already gone off. This episode is a bit longer than I actually intended, but it's okay. I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope that those of you who've been really waiting for the harvest have sort of been enjoying this as well. I didn't want to this time do that artificial extension of um, the implements that I have been doing. Although I may do that at the beginning of the next episode. We could, like, make it 20 times wider just for one header and just do, like, a, a little short pass and see how much straw we can get going through the combine at one time. That could be quite interesting to see at the beginning of next week, just while we're sort of finishing up. I'm not quite sure yet. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do something like that or if you want me to finish it, um, just do a little bit more like this for another episode or if you want me to um, get this out of the way so that we can get started with some baling and playing around with the balers on this map next week. Um, my question for the week is, do you want me to move to Broadacres early, the Australian 16 times map? If you do want me to move early, uh, I will play this map next week and then I'll move to Broadacres. And we should be able to do the sugarcane and all the other stuff that's involved with the DLC on the Broadacres map. I've been told by Ben that it should all be there because it's sort of being added to the base game. So there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to do sugarcane in Australia if that's what we really want to do. And um, yeah, that's really it with with the new map obviously i'm going to be taking a look around it i'm going to be moving to that one in the um the, the sort of the, the realistic series anyway so you'll still be able to see the map in the realistic series so we could just go oh, no i don't want to do that i want to change this one over now to standard ai there we go and go uh so yeah do you want me to move to the standard map yes uh, not standard map do you want me to move to the australian map sooner than we originally planned it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner i didn't realize that the um the multi-angle terrain that this map has got actually affected the combines as well but that was no, that didn't line up straight that's actually gone at a slight angle there so i'm going to manually take this piece out up through here and then try to get it to line up a little bit straighter for cutting in across the field because I'd like it to go straight north and south right let's try there shall we that's a bit more straight north I'm looking at the mini map there to try to get the um try to get it lined up as best as possible I think that that's actually better that's much better that's now going straight north and south it should stay that way so this one here is leaving the odd little patch. That one down there is doing brilliant. This one is doing brilliant as well. We've got these traveling around this sort of um, funny area over here. Oh, what's going to happen with this one? I, as I suspected, he has stopped again and he's gone back. I reckon the next time he comes up through, though, he will go right down to the end of the map. So this one is doing a great job. But it's still missing that little piece up there, which is a little bit of a nuisance. But it's not something that's going to cause us any major headaches, I don't think. So that's going to work its way down from the south, uh, from the north. This combine here is going to work from the west and start heading over this way. And we've got these two that are still running around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that one. Once it gets up there, we could get it to sort of cut straight across and then just work out through this patch just keep working around in a circle on this patch which would take care of that so that's kind of most of it then done um with that one up there we'll take this combine here in a minute i think and i might set it down here and head north but oh, well we might have, i'm either going to do that between this week and next week as i said get in the comment section tell me if you want to see very much more of this or if you prefer me to just uh, get it all done get it out the way and get on to the next sort of subject um sometimes you like me to spend a couple of weeks working on the same project and sometimes you want me to just like finish up and get a move on so i'd like to know what your opinions of it this time are and don't don't feel that you've got to hold back i'm quite happy to read your comments and your views and see what different things you'd like me to do on the map and what things you wouldn't like me to do and that's oh let's see that's the second one there we've got a really narrow point coming up oh i see i know what we're doing that really, uh, the narrow point here is between the road and there. So it's going to turn that into a little section there that could be cut out separately. Not this time, though. It's going to be another pass before it gets to that. 
and this one is just completing one more line up through. oh it's actually got to go it's got quite a long way to go yet it's got to go up to the corner and then all the way down around here so that's got a long way to go and this one here oh he's tur he turned in there where i sort of straightened it up but it should now start doing some quite long passes from north to south which is going to work out quite nicely because it should be able to really start getting in across some of this land and yeah that's gonna it's gonna get longer and longer passes there along with that one up there we're soon gonna get this harvest but anyway that is all i've got time for today so if you enjoyed the episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.